This is deeply, deeply suspicious. You know, Tim Waltz has been trying to explain away one fact or another, and I can understand that. But the point is, he cannot explain away the pattern. And if he didn't report this to his superiors, then this is, I think, a firing offense. He needs to be off the ticket, and he probably should no longer serve as Minnesota's governor. The House Oversight Committee launched an investigation into vice presidential candidate Tim Walz over his longstanding history with China. There are concerns the relationship could pose national security threats if he were elevated to the White House next year. They're supplying universities with unlimited amounts of cash to indoctrinate uh, the, this liberal anti-American uh, sentiment that, that's uh, shared by many uh, of our youth. Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer announced an investigation into Walz's ties to China, saying the Minnesota governor visited the country 30 times, including for his honeymoon with his wife. Comer cited reports of relations between Walz and the People's Republic of China. This includes a trip he organized while he was a teacher at Alliance High School in 1993. That trip was reportedly paid for by the Chinese government, according to a report. We're going to try to do in this investigation what we did in the Biden investigation and try to subpoena bank records and follow the money and trace the money uh, to where uh, the the in re receipts are. Uh, we know this money's coming from different Chinese operations. Comer said he was informed the FBI investigates CCP activities similar to China's engagement with Walls. The year after he visited China with students, Walls created a private company named Educational Travel Adventures designed to coordinate annual student trips to China. The group was later dissolved in 2007 after he was sworn into the House.